sorry. There's like people yelling at each other and I just don't know what's going on. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Guess where we are? Well, we're in my car. That's kind of a dog. But we are at the Goodwill Outlet, also known as the Bins. And if you've been watching my channel for a minute and following me on Instagram, then you may be thinking, oh, if Veronica has gone thrifting again, that must mean she sold at least 100 items in 2020 so far. Well, not quite. Okay. I know, I know. It's it's a little bit of a confession over here. I am yet another reselling YouTuber who said they were not gonna go thrifting until X, Y, and Z. <sighs> and I caved, I caved. I'm currently at, at the time of recording this, I'm at, I wanna say 86 items sold so far. I just actually made a sale driving here. Somebody accepted an offer that I sent out and you will have seen that already in my what sold video from Tuesday. So anyway, I'm not quite there yet. I know, I know, I know. I said a hundred, but for various reasons, I decided to come to the Goodwill Outlet today and I only have two hours. I actually have less than two hours here because I need to head home. Um, so I have about an hour and 45 to shop and then I need to factor in time for checking out. And of course, I also need to make sure that I have some time to look over the items that I'm picking up. And yeah, but I would love to take you along, but because I'm short on time and because I don't want to pull out my phone in, you know, the Goodwill outlet. Sorry, people are walking by and it's a little awkward. <laughs> um, I'm also not good at vlogging. So because I don't have a GoPro yet, I'm not going to be filming inside. Everything that's textiles, clothing, etc. is by the pound. And then um, shoes and bags and books and such have a fixed price. Hard goods is by the pound too. So that's a little bit different from a lot of other Goodwill outlets. Um, what's also different is that our clothing bins don't rotate. You get a whole bunch of bins right at the beginning when they open which is at 11 o'clock kind of late i wish they would open earlier again but oh well so you get all those bins full of clothing and then that's that's what you get and they do not rotate um the shoe bins and bags and such rotates and i think the hard goods rotate as well but clothing doesn't rotate so i usually try to be here right when they open so again i have two hours today they're about to open in about six minutes here um, so I'm gonna get myself ready and go in. My bins also don't give out numbers or anything like that. They have a restriction in terms of how many people can be in there. But overall, my, I will say my bins are pretty lax when it comes to COVID restrictions. But they're also not as crazy with people fighting and getting in your space all the time or stealing stuff out of your cart. So overall, my bins are pretty civilized. Okay, you guys, um, I'll be back for the haul. I hope I'll find some good stuff in a relatively short amount of time. I will definitely also try to be pickier because my whole thing, my whole reason for wanting to get rid of 100 items first and also get rid of items that I'm donating and sending to ThreadUp was because I have too much inventory and I want to be pickier with my inventory. So I will try to be selective and you guys will see how that all worked out in the haul portion. Okay, wish me luck and I'll see you in a few seconds. No time will have passed for you. Five hours later. Okay, welcome to the haul. It's been a few hours later. I actually spent some time washing a lot of these items and uh, just stain treating some of them. And yeah, let's let's get into this. Okay, guys. so like I said earlier in my little intro clip, I had less than two hours at the Goodwill outlet today, which is not a lot because I usually spend around four to five hours digging through all the clothing bins because they do not rotate and I need to see everything. Today I had a little less than two hours and honestly I was kind of glad because I walked in and the first thing that I saw was several clothing bins that were right in the front that had clothing piled up so high that it was just overwhelming and basically impossible to get through. I don't know what your bins look like but it was, I mean the bins were filled and then there was a pile on top of that. And so you can kind of pick through things at the top, but it's it was impossible to pick them up 
and move them over to look at the items that were underneath. So it was just like physically impossible to do that and to look through everything. So I didn't think I would be able to look through all the bins anyway, but I just saw that and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm instantly stressed out. So with that in mind, I was, I was totally okay with only having two hours or a little less than two hours. And I think I still got a decent amount and, and decent quality items, but I'll let you be the judge of that. So I purchased 33 and a half ish pounds of clothing and I spent $46. I did purchase two pairs of shorts for my husband and I also purchased like one or two shirts for myself. So let's take two pounds out of the equation. I still have around 31 pounds. And yeah, regardless, my average cost of goods at the bins is around a dollar 29 per item, which is the cost for a pound of clothing once you reach 20 pounds of clothing. And I've done the math before. I haven't done it for this particular haul, so I would have to count the items. If I remember to do this while I'm editing the video, then I'll put the count somewhere here uh, and let you know how much I actually paid per item for this particular bins haul. It would be good to do that every once in a while just to make sure I'm still paying roughly the same amount per item when I go to the bins because for my bookkeeping right now, I just put $1.29 per item. Uh, I just set up my new ring light, so if I don't move around too much, I think it's perfect. But if I do this, I got little circles and big circles on my glasses, so I will try not to do that. But if I'm holding my head in a weird position, an awkward position, it's just because I don't want the light on my to reflect on my glasses. So, But if it does, we're just going to have to deal with that. So let's get started. The first item is actually not clothing and it's pretty heavy. So uh, I picked it up relatively early on because I figured, okay, even if I don't find a ton of clothing, um, this is gonna help me get to the 20 pound threshold and bring my average cost down. But I also think this will sell well and hopefully quickly. And it's this knit blanket. It just goes on and on like this forever. It's fairly large. I'm sure it's handmade by somebody's Nana. And yeah, I've seen online that these tend to do well. Um, this one is maybe a little bit plain because it really just has the three colors and uh, this pattern that repeats itself. I forget what the specific name is for these things, but it's kind of like a quilt, but not really. I don't know, maybe that's what it is. I will look it up and I'm sure it's going to do fine. I don't know what these sell for, but I've seen some sell for like over a hundred bucks. I don't think this will do quite that well, but it's very, very pretty. And honestly, if nobody wants it, I will keep it because it's beautiful. So that is one of the non-clothing items I picked up. Everything else is clothing. I did not look at the shoes. I was thinking maybe spending five minutes at the end to look at the shoes before I had to check out. but. Right when I was done with my clothing, um, the shoe bin started rotating and I just didn't want to deal with that. So at my bins, the shoes and handbags and such rotate, clothing does not. Okay, this first clothing item is actually for myself. It's this workout tank top, has a little bit of a color blocking going on and that laser cut. And the brand, I don't even know what the brand is called, something with an X, PBX Pro. With the X at the beginning. I don't know. It's one of those Marshalls, TJ Maxx brands, right? Um, something that will not resell great, but I liked the look of this. So that one is mine and it just, it weighs like three ounces maybe. So, okay. <laughs> have another one non-clothing item, but I swear I also have clothes for reselling here. But this one is going to be for my son if he wants it. And it's just a curtain this may be the bottom but it doesn't matter you'll get the idea it's a ninja turtles curtain so i hope you can see it because i cannot see the camera right now but that's what it is so again it's super lightweight i pulled it out and i figured yeah why not if he wants it we'll put it in his room now let's get to the clothes clothing let's get to the clothing we're actually reselling so i have a pile here that's either already washed and dry or that's clothing that i'm not going to wash because it has tags on it or because it's like silk 
So we're gonna start with that and then I'm gonna go downstairs and get the stuff that is still drying. So it might be a little bit like damp still and I'll just toss it back into the dryer uh, or on the uh, drying rack once I'm done here. But I did wanna show these today and then just get them photographed and listed as soon as possible. Okay, first item is a pajama top. I didn't find the bottoms, but based on brand and this just being cute, I hope this will sell on its own. It just says in your dreams and it's Kate Spade. So it's a size medium, I believe. Yes. And it's just a short sleeve button up pajama top in this navy blue. Am I doing a horrible job showing this? Probably. Anyway, I didn't find the bottoms for this, but I think the top will do just fine on its own and you can wear it with any type of like boy short or any long pajama pants. So we'll see. I don't know how much this will go for, but I just didn't want to leave it behind. Okay, next item we have here is this semi sheer floral blouse. Very pretty, very lightweight. I was on the fence about this, but because it's so lightweight, I was like, yeah, sure. It's Uniqlo and it's a size medium. And I haven't found any flaws yet, which does not mean that there aren't any. So fingers crossed. Okay, this one I'm, I investigated a little bit, but I, I have to do more research on this. It's vintage and I will not do a great job showing this because it has this whole attachment here that's probably a scarf of some sort. It is a dress. It's 100% silk and it's kind of a wrap dress. I'm trying to show this here. This, it wraps around. It has a button at the top here where it attaches and some buttons underneath. It does have shoulder, bla shoulder blades, shoulder pads and it is this is the brand Frank something something Masandrea for Saks Fifth Avenue. So I saw Saks Fifth Avenue and I was like, that's fancy. Okay. And it is 100% silk and it says made in British Crown Colony of Hong Kong, which means it's definitely vintage. I don't know from when. It's a size 10. And it looks to be in really good shape. It's this sort of black textured silk with these golden brown stripes this abstract pattern i don't know i don't know what i'm going to do with this i'm not a vintage expert but it was too unique and beautiful to leave behind so i looked up the brand and i didn't find a whole lot uh it either goes for like 16 bucks on poshmark or for 50 <laughs> so and, and there weren't a whole lot of sold comps. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I may need to get on Etsy <laughs> to sell this and to do it justice, but I don't know. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, okay, I have a bunch of new tag stuff, so let's get through that. Um, this is a pair of Loft Marisa cropped straight leg pants, new attack size 12. Ooh, you cannot see this because my ring light is so bright. Um, these retail for, I don't know, it's cut off, but probably like 60 bucks or so. And they're just a classic, nice little pair of Capri crops. If I can fit into a size 12 by summer, I'll keep them for myself if they don't sell, or I'll send them to ThreadUp, or I'll take them to Play-Dohs or Close Mentor. I'm sure I will find a solution for these. Okay, this next brand I have not heard of. Um, the brand is Janu or Yanu, and it's a pair of like joggers. Yes, joggers with this very lightweight material, you know, like your typical pair of exercise pants kind of. Um, and interestingly enough, even though the brand is sorry even though the brand is janu on the inside it only says anu and it doesn't look like the letter came off so i'm wondering if this was like a misprint because of where it says made in vietnam the m is also missing but it doesn't look like it it, it was there in the first place so i wonder if these just 
or a misprint of some sort. But it does have some information about the brand on the tag. I don't have a price for these, but it says that Janu is derived from the Hindi word Jan or Yan, I'm not sure. Sorry if I'm butchering this, meaning life. Janu is used for someone you love, implying he or she is as dear to you as life itself. Etc. 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 So it just it has a little bit of a story on the tag, which I like. I have no idea if this retails high or not. Um, it does have the YKK zippers, so that's usually a good sign. But I don't know. These are just a nice pair of joggers. They're size medium, and I will investigate the brand and see how they do. Even if they're not a well-known brand, I think I can get like 20 bucks for this. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's see. Also new with tags and a brand I don't really pick up too much, even though it does okay for me over on eBay whenever I do get it donated to me. Uh, this is some sort of line. Uh, it's T by Talbot, so I don't know if that's a diffusion line or if, if there's such a thing as a diffusion line for Talbots. It did retail for $89.50 and then that's crossed out and marked $79.99, which is still a lot, but it's just a striped shirt dress. Very nice soft material. I've sold tea by Talbots before. It sat for a while and then sold all of a sudden and uh, that's my own experience with this particular line of Talbots. It does have this faux knot twist thing in the back. It's a size large in case I didn't tell you that already. And yeah, new with tags. I'm sure I can do something with that if it doesn't sell in my closet. And it's really nice and soft. It's like a nice little lounge dress. So I would probably wear that myself too. This next one is Nubatex with flaws. It's one of the first items I picked up. It's loft again. It's plus size loft. It's a size 16. And these are the tie front short in this red color. It does have a little flaw on the tie. There is some staining there, which I will try to stain treat with a shout wipe or something. Uh, if it doesn't come out, I'll just note it in the listing, obviously. I'm sure it'll come out in the wash. I'm just not washing them because they're new attacks. So again, if I cannot sell them, I'll just take them to close my door, Plato's closet, or maybe even send them to thread up. Who knows? Okay. Next up, we get a brand I've never picked up before, but it does retail for a good bit and it's cute and it's new attacks. It's this floral blouse. Is it a surplus? Surplus? I don't know how to say it. It is. Is it? It's something. Uh, it does have a keyhole situation in the back and then has all kinds of stuff going on in the front. It's Suzanne Betro. Betro? Not sure. Extra large, so that's good. And this retailed for $66. So, new attacks, floral. You guys tell me, is cottage course still a thing or have we just moved past that yet? Like, I don't know. I literally don't know. Am I still slapping cottage core on all my floral things or not? I'm seriously asking. Okay, next up, more new with sort of tags. It has like a fabric tag with a brand on it. It's Philosophy, it's a size large. It's just this very cozy, soft, basic top, but it does have this weave situation going on in the front. It's cute and it's a nice little heathered blue. Like I said, size large, so if it doesn't sell, it's gonna be mine. All right, next up, more new with tags. This is actually a kid's item, which I don't pick up a lot, but this could be worn by a smaller sized woman as well. It's Jimboree, and it's this sort of track jacket with a rainbow stripe on the sleeve. I really like it. It's a size large, kid's large which probably comes out to a size small, size extra small in women's. I'll definitely list it as a kid's item, but I'll mention that it could be worn by an adult as well. And this retailed for $34.50. So I just could not leave it behind. It's so cute. I don't sell a ton of kids items. I'm selling my own kids items right now. So I really don't want to look at anyone else's kids items, but anyway. This one's not new with tags, but I did not see the need in washing it because jeans take forever to dry. And if they're not filthy or stinky or have stains, I will not wash them. I will just steam them. These are Levi's 
And they're a 513, which I've never sold that particular style before, but they're just a straight, slightly tapered leg and they're in great condition. There we go, they're definitely high-waisted. They are a 28 in uh, the waist and length 32. So I don't know if they're supposed to be a men's jean. They look very much like a women's jean. So I think that's what I'm gonna list it at. But I will double check. Oh, let me check the E. Yep, it's the lowercase E. So uppercase E is the more exciting one, right? That's the rare one. This next one, you can yell at me or just question my sanity. I just, I have a soft spot for like the kind of sort of streetwear-ish brands that, I mean, I guess it's Y2K. You let me know if this is Y2K. South Pole, anyone? Anyone remember South Pole? I picked it up because it's new attacks, okay? It retailed for $42, it's a size five, which is a junior size, which is not ideal. And yeah. It's just this pair of jeans, premium stretch, low rise. They say low rise is back. So I don't know. I sold some low rise BKE jeans last week, which was in my previous what sold video. I think two what sold videos ago from when you're watching this one. So check it out if you don't believe me. Okay, uh, next one, bread and butter, American Eagle. These are the artist, just artist, nothing else. And they're a size six short and they do have a flared leg. And interestingly enough, they do have somewhere near the hem, which is funny because they're already a, a short size. So the person who owned them must have been really, really short to like step on them. You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's, that's okay. It's not very visible. I'm sure they will do just fine. Okay, next up is a jeans brand that I also like to pick up, especially from the bins. I pick up most of my jeans from the bins. Um, I try not to pay full price because jeans at my thrift stores are usually, depending on which one I'm going to, but between six and 7.50, and that's just more than I'm comfortable spending. Um, but these are silver and they're the Ico boot cut. And I've sold these before. I may even have a pair like this in my closet still. They have the contrast stitching going on. Just a good old pair of silver jeans. Pretty sure these are a low rise. They're a uh, size 26 and inseam is supposedly 31. I always measure and if there's a huge discrepancy between the inseam that's on the label and the one that I'm measuring, then I will note it. But these have like no wear on them whatsoever. So hoping these are gonna do well. Silver usually does well for me. All right, so this next item, I'm like, how did this not sell in the last week? I don't understand. So we're coming out of the inauguration week and I feel like everybody needs a yellow coat slash blazer right now. No? Anyway, this is Chico's, it's new with tags. It's a size three, so it's a good, Good size, size three Chico's is what, an extra large, I wanna say. This retailed for $89 and it's a bright, sunny yellow blazer that I might need to keep for myself. I don't really do blazers, but I just pulled this out and I'm like, this, I have to list this fast. I feel like this is gonna do well. Also good color for spring. So, I don't know, we'll see. All right. Now this next one I was very excited to find because it's a good size, it's new with tags, it's super adorable, and it is my main bread and butter. So if you've been here for a minute, say it with me. It is Torrid. She never disappoints, almost never. All right, so look at the cuteness on this. This has little musical notes all over it. It's a size four, so four X. And it flares out a little bit at the bottom and it's new with tags. And this was in a bin with a ton of kids clothing. So I was really excited that I did look through this. Um, music notes, short sleeve, chiffon, flutter top. I'm guessing retails for 
38.50, so I'm hoping I can squeeze 25 out of this because it is a 4X. We'll see. Torrid does run some really good sales on their website, which can mess you up with comms, but usually it's also sold out, you know? So, I don't know. All right, this next brand I already have in my closet. I have some jeans by this brand in my closet, but I didn't actually know anything about it. And now I found it new with tags and the tag gives you a whole long speech. Um, the brand is Iman. And this one is plus size, it's a 1X. And apparently she's the wife of David Bowie and a supermodel, which I didn't know. Sorry, I'm not an expert on supermodels. Um, and apparently she does a lot of philanthropic, philanthropic, wow. Apparently she does a lot of charity work and yeah, there's there's a whole long narrative on here on the tag about who she is and what she does. Sorry if she's like a well-known person, I just don't know her. Uh, I may have heard of her, but anyway, I did not put two and two together when I first picked up this brand. So this is, what is this even? Oh, it's like a shell and then it has another kind of like a capelet to go over it and it's attached. I don't know if I'm doing a great job showing this, but there's the top and then this part goes over. So it's a 1X, it's no with tags. And I found this right next to another one, also by Iman, also 1X, but this one's a cold shoulder. I don't know how this is gonna do. They say cold shoulder, it doesn't sell anymore. I can pretty much confirm that, but it's new with tags and it's a plus size. So we'll see, it's just a plain blue shirt. It does have some fuzzies on it, but it's clean otherwise. So anyway, this is a split hem, oops. I'm doing great today. This is a split hem down here, so yeah. We'll see, maybe somebody will bundle both of them. Isn't that the dream? Okay, more new with tags, swimwear. It's a tankini top in brown. It has this little bit of kind of like a crochet look to it. This is by the brand It Figures and it's the tummy thinner sit-ups without the sweat wow that's horrible but okay uh it was originally a two-piece that retailed for 94 dollars i don't have the bottoms that's fine though i have no issue selling women's swimwear tops without the bottoms this next one i also just kind of felt like saving even though i don't usually find the brand a whole lot or pick it up it's kind of a blast from the past i think it may be a european brand because i know this one from uh living in germany but the brand is only and this only retailed for this only <laughs> this only only retailed for 19 dollars. here's the brand and it's just a kind of graphic tee i forgot what it says what does it say live in wonder who knows Maybe somebody will want it. Has this like carousel thing going on. It is a size large. So yeah, just a basic tee. I have a hard time resisting new with tags. Not because I think it's gonna bring in top dollar, just because I just, I feel like if anything, the new with tags items need saving. It just makes me so sad to see all of this stuff at the bins. There was so much new with tags again today. There was so much uh, Forever 21 with a tag still on it. I didn't pick all of those up because they're just not gonna make me a huge profit and I just didn't wanna deal with taking them to Play-Dohs or sending them to ThreadUp. But I hope, I hope I left them there in the hopes that somebody who would actually need those items would pick them up for themselves, so. All right, two more items, three more items, and then I have to go downstairs and get the rest. Um, not that you would know because I'm gonna pause it. This one is 100% silk with a whole lot of beading, which is why I'm not even gonna try and wash this. Very shiny, glittery top, and it is Miss Eileen Fisher, size medium. So I don't really know what to say about this. I just found it, I picked it up based on brand. I'm sure a couple of beads are missing. Not that you would notice necessarily. I didn't find any other flaws so far, but I'm sure there are some 
because it's very delicate. Not necessarily my color palette either, but I just, I couldn't leave it behind. And it's lightweight. Okay, so this next item I picked up because, again, I've been told Y2K is back and apparently this style of Y2K is back, which... I was a teenager in the early 2000s, so late 90s, early 2000s. <sighs> I don't get it, but okay. Apparently this kind of stuff is back. I don't know. Did I do it right? You tell me. Nick from NCI Resale said cardigans with the faux fur and fluffy shenanigans are back. So I don't know. I don't know, you guys. You tell me. Is this what the kids wear? Chloe, if you're watching, is your generation wearing this? Let me know. Um, Chloe has a YouTube channel, Kimberly Chaos. She is so funny. You should watch her. It's just dress barn. It's a size medium. And yeah, I picked this up purely based on style and because apparently it's what the kids want. I don't know. I mean, it's not horrible in and of itself. It's just the color that gets me where I'm like, why? Why would you wear this? Why? I don't have to understand it. I just have to sell them. All right. This brand I usually don't pick up. I don't find it a ton, but I've sold it before. A pair of jeans. Armani Exchange. Whoa, you cannot see that at all. Hello. Hello. Anyone? Hold on. Let me just show you this one down here. There it is. It's actually not Armani Exchange. It's Armani Jeans. There we go. Get it together, Veronica. These are definitely a low rise. So if low rise is back, then these will sell. They have the zipper pockets. I'm not super excited for these, but they're in good condition. They have a tapered leg or maybe a skinny leg even. And they are a size 32. So that's a good size. I think they look smaller than a 32 I will say that but yeah have a little bit of stretch to them we'll see how they do I'll keep you posted maybe you'll see them in a what sold video all right I need to get my items from downstairs that may be slightly damp so I'll just bring them up show them to you and then put them back on the drying rack or in the dryer why can't I think of the word dryer? Oh my god, I'm so tired. This is the second video I'm filming and I've been up since six. Okay, so we're back with the second portion of the haul. Let's do it. Oh, that's two items for the price of one. Okay, we get a bra, because why not? It's this olive green clasp closure in the front, lace in the back. Very pretty, and it's a Notori, which I think retails for a good bid. And the size is a 32 triple D, so I'd imagine that's a hard size to find. Don't know how much that one will go for, but we'll try it out. Okay, one of the things I've been on the lookout for, aside from the Y2K stuff, is the spell out gap sweaters or spell out anything sweaters which are apparently a huge thing right now because of emma chamberlain well i found this one it's a hoodie it looks like it's a better condition on camera but when you do a close-up you'll see that there's a lot of fuzzies on the lettering i tried to get them off as much as possible with my lint roller but yeah it's a size small spell out gap hoodie with the kangaroo pocket and i'll give it a little bit more love in terms of cleaning it up and cleaning up the fuzzies but i have no idea how much these sell for right now i just hear that everybody wants them so we'll see even if it just sells for 20 bucks that's still a good return on my investment this next one is a brand that i like to pick up in jeans not so much in tops it's american eagle outfitters I just, I could not resist this yellow sweater. Oh my God, how pretty is this? I wish this were my size and it is slightly oversized, but maybe not quite. It's a size medium. And like I said, I could not resist 
It was just too pretty to leave behind. All right, this next brand I've never picked up before. I do own an item or two by this brand and I heard somebody talk about this brand recently. So this jacket, kind of like a utility jacket, I guess, is by Oakley. And like I said, I don't usually find Oakley a lot or think about picking it up. But it has a whole lot of little details. Is it a military jacket? I don't even know what this is. Um, the only flaw I found, and it's not a major one, is just inside here where the fabric touches the zipper. It's like a little bit discolored, but you really don't see that when you wear it. Um, but yeah, it's just a cute little jacket. I think it's a size small and it should be a good sort of spring and fall transition piece. So we'll see how it does. From what I saw on Poshmark, Oakley jackets do pretty well. Okay, this next brand I'm always on the fence about, um, Zara Trafaluk, Trafaluk, I don't know how to say it. Uh, it's a size small and it's like a long sleeve bodycon dress in this sweatshirt material, just black and white striped. It's a good classic piece, so we'll see how much we can get for that. All right, the next one is also a brand I don't usually pick up anymore because it just doesn't retail for a whole lot. It's cotton on. But these leggings are actually like true active wear leggings, you know, that have like kind of like the dry fit fabric. And they're cute with the speckles down here. They're size extra small, so it might be a difficult sale, but active wear, why not? All right, I need your help with this next one because I have not been able to figure out what this brand is and how much it retails for, but it feels really nice. It's also active wear. And these I kind of just stumbled upon. I was sorting through my clothing, throwing things back. And then as I look up at the bin in front of me, I just see this pair of leggings and I see this portion. It says Barbella, you can't really tell on here. But it does have a tag and it's a size small. Oh man, how are we gonna do this? Here we go. Barbella. And it's this nice teal color and they feel like they're a really good quality, sort of semi-thick compression legging. And yeah, they just kind of appeared in front of me out of nowhere. They're a beautiful teal color. I have not seen any flaws yet. When I look up Barbella, all I find is Barbella Box, which I'm sure is some sort of CrossFit brand, and the logo is different. It does actually have a barbell, and the, um, the font is different, so I haven't been able to find this one, and it doesn't have an RN on it, so I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to sell this. I mean, I'm going to put the brand in, it's just I have no idea what these are worth, so... I'm going to have to do more research, but if you've seen this brand before, please let me know. Okay, more active wear. These are just Nike dry fit, size large, capris. When I pulled these out, they looked like they had never been washed. And then, of course, I washed them just now. So there's a little bit of cracking on the lettering right here. And they do have this little bit of purple detail in the back. And the swoosh in the front is also purple. And then it's this charcoal gray color. Just a nice pair of active wear capris. If they don't sell, I might just keep them. All right, we have the spell out gap. I also found some champion, which I hear also does well these days. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. These are marked a size large, but I'm pretty sure that's a kid's large because this is not a large, this is a small at best. So I will have to note that, but it's this navy blue sweater and yeah, we'll see how that does. Okay, we're getting there, you guys. Uh, these I picked up mostly because of style and the brand does okay, but I don't usually pick it up. Abercrombie and Fetch, size 27. And they're very, very distressed front and back. So we'll see how they do. 
also a low rise so I'm, I'm testing out the whole thing about low rise being back we'll see we'll see if it actually is okay this next one I think I'm just gonna have to donate back because it does have some issues and it doesn't have a size it's this really nice Nike tank top the only reason I know it's Nike is because of the swoosh down here but it does have some spots and stains that I didn't see and that didn't come out in the wash down here it doesn't have any tags it has some light discoloration up here so I think I'm just gonna re-donate re that it's just there's just too much going on that makes me not want to sell this but it looks nice otherwise okay this one is Wrangler also not something I usually pick up I was just watching Heidi from Restyle Secrets earlier and she said that's the most overused sentence in the reselling community I don't usually pick up this brand she's just so spot on with it I had to laugh and then I was like yeah no you're right Heidi you're right so I usually don't pick up this brand but look at this print I really like that it's a cactus and it says go rest on it I wish this was my size and then it also has this lace-up situation going on in the back so I think this will do just fine I don't know how fine but we'll find out okay this next one really needs to go back in the dryer because it's very damp still anyway it's made well size small it's an open front cardigan duster and sort of like a very muted dusty blush pink not blush pink dusty pink I guess dusty rose uh, yeah this this didn't feel good when I pulled it out and like I mentioned earlier I do wear gloves but even with the gloves I could feel that it didn't feel good it felt like it may have been washed the wrong way um, so I thought maybe there's some wool in there and it got ruined but it's just cotton so I don't know maybe maybe it just needed some extra love so once it finishes drying for me we'll see how it feels uh, I do like it. it has a pocket in the front too on each side so size small made well duster open front cardigan that needs to go and be dry okay two more edits this one I picked up based on style because I have no idea what this brand is and right now all of the drawstring ties are super entangled so don't mind that <laughs> but look at this fluffy little teddy sweater oh does it have pockets it does have pockets how nice I just thought this was cute I think it's a size small and the brand is next petite which I've never heard of I'm assuming it's a small petite and it says up here it says downtime my favorite time cannot argue with that this looks so comfy and cozy and it has a half zip yeah and then also the drawstring which is currently very entangled so I have to deal with that later and make it look all nice but yeah I thought this was cute and it's probably gonna sell for who knows 20 bucks unless it's some great brand that I just don't know anything about so here we go yeah it's it's very nice and fluffy now that it's clean it feels really good all right this last item I think I'm gonna keep for myself I would have loved to wear it in this haul but I didn't think to dry this one first it's Bob's Burgers and it just says the many faces of or no the many moods of Tina and then it just has her face and all her moods I love it oh I'm putting this on my microphone okay as I was saying I love it it's a size large it's just ripple junction Bob's burgers and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep this okay I can't believe this was my haul already it feels like there should be more but I don't think I forgot anything so with the exception of one item that I'm gonna donate back everything is going up in my Poshmark closet and then of course the items that we're keeping for ourselves uh, I didn't show you the shorts I bought for my husband they're not very exciting they're just like little cargo like Bermuda, Bermuda length shorts or knee length shorts 
that he had requested so I found him some of those found some stuff for my kiddo I actually bought him a toy too but that is not it cost like 30 cents so who cares yeah no shoes this time but I think I got some good stuff let me know what your favorite item was let me know which one of these items you would not have picked up even at a bins price just lay it on me that's okay I would like to know um, I hope you enjoyed this haul and I hope you're happy that I'm back to filming hauls on this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you want to stick around and watch some more, please go do that and consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification so you can get notified. And while you're at it, if you want to follow me over on Instagram, same handle, Veronika Mika, um, you can do that as well. And all my links are down in the description below okay you guys i'm gonna put these back in the dryer and hang them up to dry and then i hope i will get these photographed and listed soon thanks for hanging out with me and i'll see you on tuesday for my what's old video bye